Jacob Zuma is a South African politician who served as the fourth president of South Africa from 2009 to 2018. He is also referred to by his initials Jay-Z and his clan name Mishalozi. Zuma was born in the rural region of Ngandla in what is now the province of KwaZulu-Natal, still the center of Zuma's support base. He joined the ANC as a teenager in 1959 and spent 10 years as a political prisoner on Robben Island. He went into exile in 1975 and was ultimately appointed head of the ANC's intelligence department. After the ANC was unbanned in 1990, he rose quickly through the party's national leadership, becoming deputy secretary general in 1991, national chairperson in 1994, and deputy president in 1997. He was Deputy President of South Africa from 1999 to 2005 under President Thabo Mbeki, Nelson Mandela's successor. Mbeki dismissed him on June 14, 2005, after his financial advisor, Shabir Sheikh, was convicted of making corrupt payments to him in connection with the arms deal. Zuma was charged with corruption, and was also acquitted on rape charges in a highly publicized 2006 trial. In the fall of 2006, the corruption charges against Zuma were thrown out by a judge. However, the door was left open for charges to be filed against him in the future. Free of legal challenges, Zuma was soon running for the presidency of the ANC. He took on former friend and President Mbiki for control of their political party. Mbiki was viewed a moderate politician who had helped steadily grow the country's economy, one of the strongest in Africa though some saw him as aloof and removed from the people. In contrast to Mbiki, Jacob Zuma positioned himself as a man of the people, his triumph over early struggles making him an appealing figure to many South Africans. He also capitalized his history as a guerrilla fighter to show himself to be a man of action, using the song, Bring Me My Machine Gun, as his anthem. When Zuma defeated Mbiki in December 2007, it was seen as a sign of impending change for South Africa. Strongly supported by the unions and some Communist Party officials, he was considered likely to move to the left from the centrist positions of Mbiki, according to a report from the Pretoria News. This created some concern over the country's economic future. Shortly after his resignation, on March 16, 2018, the National Prosecuting Authority announced that Zuma would again face prosecution on corruption charges relating to the 1999 arms deal. He pleaded not guilty on May 26, 2021, and the trial is set to resume on April 11, 2022. In a separate legal matter, in July 2021 Zuma was imprisoned in Estcourt, KwaZulu-Natal for contempt of court. After testifying for less than three days at the Zondo Commission into state capture allegations, he refused to return, violating summonses and a constitutional court order compelling his testimony. Zuma has been praised for his HIV-AIDS policy, which has been credited with increasing life expectancy in South Africa. Although he had defended Mbeki's policy while Deputy President, Zuma, as President, spoke publicly about the dangers of inaction and denialism. On December 1, 2009, in a public address broadcast live on television, he announced the expansion of the country's HIV testing and treatment program in line with World Health Organization guidelines. South Africa's social grants program also expanded under Zuma. The proportion of households that received at least one grant increased from 30% in 2003 to 45.5% midway through Zuma's presidency in 2013. In October 2012, Zuma launched the National Infrastructure Plan, which was expected to involve spending of around R4 trillion over the next 15 years, with transport and energy as the biggest expenditure items. Opposition parties welcomed the initiative, although they expressed concerns about the attendant financial burden and about corruption amid ongoing electricity generation shortfalls at State Energy Utility Eskom, Zuma's government launched, in 2011, the Independent Power Producers Procurement Program. Under the program, Eskom purchases electricity, from both renewable and non-renewable sources, from private producers. By 2017, it had attracted more than R190 billion in investment, but its implementation, especially in the renewable energy sector, has received criticism from inside the industry. Jacob Zuma, a polygamist, 
is a South African politician who has a net worth estimate is $20 million. Thank you for watching our video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel.